Well, we're back at it. We just got a really cool lobster. He's all dressed up for Halloween. If you didn't know, lobsters actually come in many different colors. We get them in yellow, white, blue, red, and a mixture of all of those colors. This one's really cool. He's part calico. He's got a lot of black dots, which you don't see very often. Black dots and yellow dots. He's got a little shell disease going on too that you don't see very often. Little bumps. It's a male and it's a keeper. Usually if these ones are females, we'll notch them and let them go, but since it's a keeper, if we don't keep it, somebody else will, so we're going to keep it. We're going to try to find an aquarium that would like to have him, and we're going to donate him to the aquarium. We donated one in the past to the University of New England. We'll probably reach out and see if they want him. If not, then we'll find another aquarium. If not, he'll be somebody's dinner. <laughs> Pretty cool. We're gonna get back to it. We got 100 traps left to haul. We'll see if we get anything else cool. string on. The fishing is pretty poor for October uh, and we got nothing better to do than jig them around and hopefully find a few lobsters somewhere. That's what we're trying to do. So we're gonna set these out and then before we know it it'll be time to head back and see if the big shift paid off. Well it's a fairly miserable morning here. We got 20-25 southwest. It blew hard all night so we got a wicked sea on on top of a chop just like being in a washing machine. But we're chugging along trying to make the best of a miserable situation. He goes, God forbid me. He goes, totally ripped the house off. <laughs> oh, once the videos disappear, it don't count. Well, it, it's got to be like the past 12 months. Well, the wind's finally dying out a little bit. Still pretty miserable, especially knowing the catch and knowing the price. But we did just catch an old beauty the size of his claw. Bigger than my hand. Once again, I don't have a scale, but he's probably, I don't know, eight pounds or so. There's a one pound keeper for reference. <laughs> Smaller than the claw. Pretty cool. It's estimated that they're about seven years old to a pound. So he's around 60 years old. He's trying to swim away. We're gonna send him home. If you're new, they're protected in Maine for the breeding process. Once they get above five inches on the back of their shell, we gotta let them go. Well, the big shift was not everything that we hoped it would be. This year has just been tough right from the start. Uh, as you've heard me mention a few times, our price sucks. The other day we lost 50 cents on our price, and on that same day we went up 75 cents on our fuel. So we got double whammy. We got hit on the profit end, and we got hit on the expense end. Uh, and that's just the story of this year. This time of year we never really get hit with price drops. Usually the price goes up this time of year because the lobsters harden up, they firm up, they get a good shell, they start filling back up with meat. But this year we got hit with a price drop from an already low price as it was. Uh, we're down around like three bucks, so it's pretty hard to make a profit right now. One factor that's playing a role in the price drop this time of year, we never see, again, we never see price drop in October. Uh, but this year we were put on the red list, as a lot of you probably know, uh, by the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And the red list is basically a list of seafoods to educate the public on which seafoods are sustainably caught, so the public knows which ones are, are safe to purchase and support. Well, Monterey Bay put lobster on the red list 
for the first time ever uh, due to claims that we're a threat to the endangered right whales, which I will get into more in future videos, but it's a baseless claim. They have no good solid evidence to support it. Uh, it's been 18 years since they found a right whale entangled in Maine lobster gear. We've complied with countless regulations over the years to reduce our risk to the right whales. Um, and after an 18 year clean record, you'd think we would be given thanks, but instead we're slapped with red lists and the threat of even Noah shutting us down. So I'll keep you guys posted and informed and I will continue to touch on it throughout future videos. So anyway, back to our yellow spotted lobster friend. Uh, we found a home for him. Somebody actually reached out and volunteered to drive up from New Hampshire to pick him up and drive him back down to New Hampshire where the Seco Science Center in Rye, New Hampshire is gonna put him in their tanks. So that'll be pretty cool. If you guys are in the area, you can go check it out. Uh, and as I stop in, I'll swing in and check him out and see how he's doing.